Hi guys welcome to English video class let us today we learn about the new pros on saying please if bad manners of one person influence others and make them rude and ill tempered good manners of one person also affect others and make them be polite and kind in turn the words like please and thank you make us courteous by which we keep the machine of life oiled and running sweetly about the author alfred george gardiner was an english journalist and a writer he was a prolific writer with a number of essays to his credit his essays exhibit the very sensitive highly cultured and sophisticated personality of the writer he wrote under the pen name alpha of the plug on saying please is an essay that talks about socially important issues that we come across in our daily life the essay shows how using polite words and phrases like please and thank you can change the course of our day such words help us in making our passage through life smooth in his attempt to draw a distinction between what is etiquette and what is legally binding gardiner begins his essay with the example of lift man who threw a passenger out of the lift for not saying please while agreeing that courtesy is a desirable characteristics gardiner rightly points out that courtesy cannot be legally clamped upon people who are discourteous the legal system despite its shortcomings is reasonable is not considering impoliteness an offense impoliteness is what is perceived as impolite and hence is subjective hence punishment is not possible at the most we may brand the impolite person ill mannered but in the case of physical brutally brutality the law gives us the right to self defense the truth also remains that quite often impoliteness is more hurtful than physical abuse what is worse it has the cyclical effect the one who is at the receiving end of the rudeness from his superiors takes it out on his subordinates has he cannot re- retaliate against his superiors that is why we should know the importance and value of social practices that promote civility gardiner offers the example of a good natured conductor to show how such people can bring about positivity gardiner points out that the example of a genial conductor is not a chosen under the assumption that conductors are by and large hill tempered gardiner makes it clear that if here and there we have rude conductors it is the outcome of their demanding job however the friendly conductor made the author feel pleasantly surprised by buying a ticket for him as the author had forgotten his purse at home though the author later found a shilling in his pocket to pay the conductor the cheerful behavior of the conductor left him with a pleasant feeling on another occasion it was the conductor who had trodden on the toe of the author but he was so genial in his apology that the author forgave him easily it also became the habit of the author to notice then well mannered conductor who took on different roles in helping his passengers he was like a son to the old father to the children friend to the young and helper to the handicapped 
the author is especially impressed by the fact that the conductor would get out of the bus asking the driver to wait for him so has to take the blind across the road or round the corner gardener adds that just as good weather unlifts our spirit good natured people to bring about positivity their charm cannot be resisted by even unfriendly people gardener concludes the essay by observing that rudeness seemed to be the aftermath of war he earnestly appeals to his readers to bring back civility to social behavior thus we see that the essay clearly shows that distinction between what is punishable by law and what is desirable though not punishable by law while the law is very different about how individuals should act it does not have much to say about the issues of courtesy and kindness politeness to others the law speaks to individuals who have been wronged whose rights have been taken away at the hands of another at it cannot legislate manners of civility in acting towards one another the reality is that while it is not a perfect state this state of law is a reasonable one because it does not enter the realm of emotions if the law gave in into this level of emotional subjectivity then individuals would be carrying out acts of violence each time someone demonstrated rudeness to them